Good evening and welcome to our celebration evening prayer on a day which has turned uh, much sunnier than predicted. Uh, appropriate timing as we come to celebrate Saints Peter and Saint Paul in this vigil evening prayer. Of course this morning we celebrated uh, Saint Irenaeus. Uh, Deacon Michael in his homily talked about unselfish prayer and that certainly, I remarked at the end of Mass, seems to me a hallmark of this time where we gather together, not just coming on those evenings where we want to pray something, but increasing numbers coming uh, to pray for each other and to pray particularly for those who are perhaps not able to come to the church, who are not able to leave their homes, but who through this have a reassurance that they are being prayed with and for. St. Irenaeus was uh, in gold or white. Um, as I processed out, I realized that though I've put on uh, an amount of red myself, red being the color for Peter and Paul, I hadn't dressed the church uh, appropriately, for which I apologize. I will subtly, at the end of evening prayer, turn it red in time for tomorrow. It has a vigil because it is a day of great significance a day when we celebrate uh, the, the foundations on which uh, our church is built, the witness of the apostles. And we'll come to celebrate those very different men, Peter and Paul, whose lives were a real contrast with each other as I reflect in the homily in a number of ways, and yet are held together in unity by their faith and their devotion to the Lord perhaps a hallmark uh, of each of us. Very different in all sorts of ways, in backgrounds and where you are at the moment, with how your day have been, with the problems, with the joys that you have uh, in life. And yet we are united here as we come to bring them to the Lord. The join with the psalmist in reflecting on God's presence in action in our world and to pray that we might continue in our own confidence in that action as we bring our intercessions. Mary, of course, had great confidence in the Lord. It's what enabled her to respond so immediately to the call of the angel. And it's with that that we reflect as we begin our evening prayer. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Let the heavens with joy resound, and earth the chant re-echo round. Nor heaven nor earth too high can raise the great apostles' glorious praise. Theirs was the steadfast faith of saints, 
the unconquered hope that never faints, the perfect love of Christ to know that lays the praise of this world low. In them the Father's glory shone, in them the Spirit's will was done. The Son's glad praise to them is given, with joy resound the courts of heaven. To thee, Redeemer, now we cry, that with this glorious band on high, through endless ages, by thy grace, thy servants also may have place. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his Lord and he decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, Apostle, the preacher of truth in all the world. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the chosen instrument of God, St. Paul, Apostle, the preacher of truth in all the world. From the letter to the Romans. From Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, who has been called to be an apostle and specially chosen to preach the good news of his son that God promised long ago through his prophets in the scriptures. To you all, who are God's beloved in Rome, called to be saints, may God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ send you grace and peace. The apostles proclaimed the word of God and feared no one. 
They gave testimony to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glorious are the apostles of Christ. They loved each other in this life. They are not separated in death. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glorious are the apostles of Christ. They loved each other in this life. They are not separated in death. We pray to Christ who built his church on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Simon the fisherman was called by you to be a fisher of men. Call others today to share in this task. When the disciples feared that the ship was sinking, you commanded the sea and there was calm. Protect your church in the midst of trouble and give her the peace that the world cannot give. After your resurrection, you gathered your church around Peter. Gather all your people now into the unity for which you prayed. You sent Paul as an apostle to all. Let your good news be preached today through all creation. You entrusted the keys of your kingdom to your church. Open the gates of life to the dead who put their trust in you. You may be able to hear in the background uh, the, one of the parish youth groups is again meeting. There's great excitement clearly going on. We begin therefore by being reminded to pray for the gift of our young people. Pray that they may continue that joy in God's presence, that they may grow strong in their faith. I'll ask that we might pray for her good friend, and the good friend to many of us at St Mary's, Philomena, on her birthday today. To pray too for her granddaughter Margaret, who was 20 yesterday. Angela asks on the anniversary of her sister Trish's death 16 years ago that we might remember her in prayer. Indeed, there may be many who remember Trish, Chris, Trish Winchester who was a prisoner in St. Joseph's in the 80s and 90s. Maureen in Merseyside asked prayers for dear friend Eileen from Leicester Forest East, who is suffering from very painful shingles. Elizabeth asks, we might light a candle tonight for Paul, Alan, Ben, all needing their prayers in relation to health. Stephen asks that we might pray that his eye appointment on Wednesday leads to the treatment he needs, that his health may continue to go strong. And he asks us too to pray for his siblings, Sina, Mike, Maura, Carmel, and their families, and for his son David and for his family. 
Carol asks that we might give thanks for all those who've been praying for her. And indeed, Carol, we continue to pray for you. Elizabeth asks that we might pray for grace to discern, for the grace to discern God's will in her decision making. William, who's been a great support at St. Edward's, asks that we might include his father Tony, long standing member of the community there, uh, in our prayers this evening. He says that his father has had a mini stroke and has spent uh, the week in St. Peter's. Artak in Germany asks that we might pray to the Lord to heal Elias and to protect him. Anne asks that we might pray uh, for Disney, for her recovery. Request two from Anne that we might pray uh, for Sean, for Ian, as they prepare for ordinations at Yaknet, and indeed for Bernard, who will be ordained with them. Uh, and will serve his Yaknet uh, in Sussex. Father Roy asks that we might pray for Jim Dobby of Crandy, who is unwell in the Royal Surrey. We continue our prayers for Father Thomas. We pray on the anniversary of his death for Father John Healy, former uh, parish priest um, in St. Pius, a much-loved pastor. We pray for all those who've gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. And we remember all those unnamed but for whom we have promised our intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord our God, may the blessed apostles Peter and Paul support us by their prayers. Through them you first taught your church the Christian faith. Provide us now by their intercession with help for our eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. A te, 
exules filii eve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac laquimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loquilos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fruntum ventris tui, nobis, post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O ducis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be, word, may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.